Hi everyone, welcome back to my page. I wanted to wish everyone who's celebrating Eid Mubarak. Um, I hope you have a blessed time, however you wish to celebrate. Um, reason I wanted to cover the topic of gratitude today is because I feel like it's a happy time and we have so much going on in the world that when there are things like Eid or anything to celebrate that we should really appreciate all the things that we do have and show gratitude. Gratitude is like a superpower, is when you have it and you practice it and you bring yourself in that mindset, then positive things and good things will start coming your way. It's just how the world works. If you're constantly envious of what other people around you have, then you're just robbing yourself of your own happiness. So it's important for us to be practicing this and be aware and content with the things that we do have going on in our lives. Um, if you haven't been to my page before, welcome. I'm Hamasa. I look at personal development as well as mental and emotional well-being and just day-to-day -day issues. Please do subscribe to my page so that you're up to date with all my weekly content. So I wanted to start off this week's video with a story that I got a message from someone um, and it really put things into perspective for me and made me think, you know what, this is a good topic to cover because it's so easy for us to see it in other people, but when it comes to us practicing it ourselves, it's hard to see it when we're going through something. And this was a lady that's been in touch before and she's just, we've had short conversations here and there. She just randomly messaged me and wrote a long message. So I opened my DMs and I saw that. And she said, look, you know, I just want your advice. Yeah, um, I like, your mindset and outlook on things so this is what's happened to me and I just don't know how to come out of the rut that I'm stuck in and I feel really really down so she recently got married she had a beautiful wedding and she's really unhappy with her wedding photographs um, the team hasn't done a good work they they're blurry she's not happy and she feels like her entire day and the memories of it is ruined because of that because she doesn't have anything to look back on and it's been about three weeks and she's a newlywed and she's very upset over this and can't basically get out of it and so it's really affecting her and her new husband. Now her being upset is completely justifiable because she has a reason to. I would be too had this had happened to me of course but my advice to her was to look at her possibly arranging a really beautiful photo shoot for their one year anniversary and getting some nice pictures so at least she has some sort of memory or something to look back on and she can frame and keep in the house so there's a solution but what was happening with her is that she was just ruminating in her state and being very upset about it and uh, not being able to enjoy this honeymoon period that she has with her husband whom I'm sure is really was looking forward to spending some quality time with his new wife. So she's basically rubbing herself of her present because of something that she really has no control over. She really can't change. She can't turn back time. She can obviously argue it and dispute it, but it's not really going to give her better pictures. She can try and get them retouched by them until she's happy to an extent, but still she cannot recapture the, the day in the way she envisioned. It's just not possible. So what are her options? She could either just dwell and stay in this situation or she could move on and really accept it for what it is and see and look at solutions and be proactive and really enjoy the moment. Like I said, in today's day and age, like we have so much going on, so many stresses, so many fears. Her story is one of many and her being upset, completely justifiable. But for me, it was easy to see that in her situation because I wasn't the one who was emotionally involved. So my logic kicked in and I could see, okay, this is what needs to be done and this is how she feels. However, when you're going through that and your emotions are involved, you kind of become blinded and you don't see the, like all the good, all the things that are going right, all the things that you can do to be proactive and to change it and to somehow give yourself some sort of satisfaction, closure, whatever you start ruminating and getting upset and just going over it in your head over and over again because your emotions do that to you and so being aware of this and understanding that if i could see it this easily in my friends or my family around me surely i should make myself more aware and be more conscious of when i do it myself for example when you're out and about with your friends or with your family like today you're celebrating eid 
and you're surrounded by family and friends and food and you're enjoying the moment, it's very easy for us to start being worried about, oh, tomorrow's Monday, I have work, I have to be up early, did I clean my clothes for it, am I ready, have I done the laundry, I have a stressful week, da 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 da, -da. and you're constantly thinking and dwelling and just robbing yourself of your present happiness moment about thinking and anticipating the future. And so those things may not even happen or you're going to do those things anyway. So worrying yourself, yourself about it just means that you're putting yourself through that emotion twice. Once while you're anticipating it and once when you're going through it. And so you're not actually in the present moment, not enjoying, not being grateful for the fact that you have all these people around you, all this love, all this laughter, happiness, and you're concerning yourself about the future and what may or may not happen. I'm also guilty of that. Like I said, for me, it was one, just going over it with this lady who messaged me and putting it into perspective in someone else's position and also having the gift of hindsight. When I went in December last year, I had to suddenly move out of the place that I was living and an opportunity came up in an apartment with someone who was trying to get rid of it and I was trying to, for some, somehow it just wasn't working out. No matter what I tried, it kept falling through and I couldn't understand why and I was so stressed out. But finally things worked out exactly how they were supposed to and I moved into a better place and I've settled and I'm much more happier than I would have been had I gone with that first option. But at that time, that didn't... I didn't look at it like that. I was stressed, I was emotional, and I was like, why is this happening to me? Why am I being punished? Why is this, no matter how much effort I'm putting in, no matter how much I'm trying to work this out, it's just not happening. But looking back at the situation now, I got saved from a very, very messy living situation, and it just would have tied me down into something that I really had no business being in. So it kind of really saved me from so much future headache and I'm so grateful for that. So when things are not going your way, so not even the happy moments, but even the obstacles and things that you look at as, you know, a, a real like, oh my God moment and this is happening to me, why am I being punished? Why is this, why is life so unfair? Understand that you may not understand the timing of the bigger context of it and whatever's coming your way if this is not working out is for a reason and whatever is meant to be the path that you're meant to be on you're probably like swerving away from it and it's just bringing you back to where you're supposed to be and just because something doesn't work out right there and then and you don't understand it doesn't mean that it's for the better or it's the right place for you to be at so I've now become grat uh, grateful and have a lot of gratitude for all the good and the bad that has happened to me because it's put me to where I am today and the things that didn't work out and I was devastated over in the past have actually saved me and put me on the right track of where I am today and I wouldn't change a thing. So for that I'm very grateful to have this understanding and just kind of tr trust the process and trust the journey and not fight against it so much. Bringing myself to the present is something that I'm still practicing, but having gratitude is literally really will change your outlook on things, on things that don't work out for you. It won't let you break, it won't, you won't let it break you um, or really like devastate you. It won't let, you won't let it define you. I'm muddling why words, sorry. And it, it'll just, it, it'll kind of let you develop. Um, it is what it is kind of attitude. And it's really easy for, for us to fall into the familiar. So the moment we start practicing more and more gratitude all the time, the more we will fall into being in this more state of gratefulness, content and gratitude more often because that will be the familiar to us. So practicing it, making yourself aware of it, understanding how much good and better it does for you then ruminating on all the negatives and how much more positive you'll attract to yourself and your mindset and just you just won't you rob yourself of your happiness you'll appreciate the things around you you'll be more happier with what you have and you'll be less concerned about the people around you because it really doesn't like it's not that jealous feeling or that envy goes it's like yeah they have that but this is what works for me 
and we're all different and just because that works for them doesn't mean there's the right time or the right place or the right thing for me and the sooner we have this like i said the more content and happy i will be i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you found it helpful if you have please do share it with someone who may need it um i appreciate you guys' time and um, i'd love if you guys could comment and like on um, this video subscribe to my page and i'll see you guys again here next week thank you for watching Mwah.